G'day guys, welcome to GJ Bricks, I'm Greg. Today is City Update Day, I haven't done one for a while. I made the decision that I could keep tinkering with stuff till I'm blue in the face and never actually do an update, which isn't the way to run updates. I have been doing a lot, I've been building a lot, I've been doing bits and pieces everywhere and things are starting to come together. It's not way near where I'd like to have it to show you, but I'm going to show you because you can start to see the effort I've been putting in and where things are starting to work. Now, I'll start by saying if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe. If you find what I'm doing interesting, I do talk a lot about Lego, that's my channel. Uh, and if you've got any comments or suggestions as we go through the video, please write them in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if you think it's good. I will now go and show you what's been going on in Studsburg. I thought I'd do something I don't usually do, and that's have a train running around the tracks. And it's my newest train, the Horizon Express. All two of them running on two powered up motors, which I'll talk about in another video because someone was asking me about that one. So what's happened? Over here, not a huge amount. Um, I've put that shelf in now for the Ninjago area. Ninjago Destiny Bounty is there for holding purposes. These again are here for holding purposes. I haven't decided where they're going to go or if they're going to go anywhere. Uh, I will decide that one at some point because this area is all supposed to be Ninjago based, but I do want to have again layering in here I've got the train track through here which kind of does break it up but at the same time I do like that little train line because it means I get these crossings in so nothing has happened over here so I'm not even going to show you that one now one of the biggest changes that's obvious straight away from the city the harbour I've put the extra table in here now the bridge is complete across here I haven't done the piers yet I needed a break from doing the bridge uh, I've got the Statue of Liberty there. She's not staying there, obviously. She's going to go down here on a plinth of some sort. Ninjago City is back in place, as is the Ninjago City docks. Now, under here, I am going to do what I originally planned to do on the old city, which was to have an area underneath here that connects the two up to make it kind of like a, a market kind of a water side market under here. I think that'll be pretty cool. It means I can connect up this as well. I'm a bit bummed that I can't connect this up. I've got two choices. Uh, I've got one choice, which is, or two choices. One is to block that off. The other is to actually move this over ever so slightly. I've got, you know, three studs-ish here. And that way it would actually give me space to have a walkway or some steps down or something. So. Not sure about that one, need to think about that one, but I do think that looks rather cool next to the bridge. It does look very complimentary. Actually, I just noticed they're the same height as well. That's not deliberate. That is a complete fluke. Um, got a couple of boats in here. <laughs> the Monkey Kid HQ is huge, as is the Explorer boat. So, I'm uh, not sure if those are going to stay in there. Actually, the Explorer boat is going to stay in there. The Monkey Kid boat, I'm not sure. That might end up being a display set, unfortunately, because I did hope it would work better than that, but it is just so dominating. Look, it covers what, one and a half full base plates. That's a lot. And I still need to build a dock in there, so that's going to be like the cargo harbour area. So we've got the cargo trains there. Um, again, I've got two of those now, which is awesome. So I'm going to be motoring up moving the motor from that one into that one to double motor that one and then just have one train uh, and then some more carriages obviously um, I've got the fishing village uh, the fishing shop down here so my plan here is I'm gonna have a wall here I'm gonna build this pier out properly and actually have something that very complements that and then obviously have walkway all the way around here up onto here which is gonna be where my sort of beachfront is I'm thinking of having just a small beach down here because I've always wanted to have a beach in my city. Uh, I think that would be cool. So then I've got yeah the boat from the hidden side and then the shark, the shark fishing boat there as well, which is yeah pretty cool boat. I do like that one. I think that'll be quite a good bustling little area there. I think that'll be quite nice. I think actually building out a pier properly there to connect that up will work well. Now one thing I'm not sure about is my lighthouse. It's going to have to be reconfigured slightly. I do like my lighthouse, I do want to actually make it a bit bigger and it probably needs to come here. My concern about having it any closer to this edge is that I do have a habit of knocking this edge quite often, so uh, might not do that. 
undecided yet. Um, haven't really changed anything from in here yet from the last video. That will be coming at some point. So moving over here, um, I've just left the uh, Hidden Side High School over there. I just I can't, I like it. I, I don't think it can stay there. So it does take up quite a lot of space, and there's a whole bit behind it which would be wasted. So I probably won't leave that there. I need to think about what's going to happen there. I mean, it's like the residential area up here. I have to think about. I haven't shown you theme park at all. I haven't done anything up there. That needs a lot of work before I even consider showing that to you. So that's just going to stay there. Over here, I have this beautiful tower crane here. Uh, I have a video about this this week <laughs> coming up, talking about how I got that. <laughs> but I have got my new logo hanging there. Just thought I'd put it in the video and make sure it sort of stood out if the camera will focus for me. There we go. Um, down here now, I've actually just got the plates from Lego, uh, from my Lego um, pick-a-brick order to actually start to work on the platforms here, which is cool. So I'll actually start to put something in there, but I have started on this tunnel and this brickwork. This is one thing in every version of a city I've built that's, excuse the expression, pissed me off that I haven't been able to do, and that is actually put some of this walling in around areas. So I've started straight away. I wanted to go with kind of like this, I don't know, I just, I kind of really like this minimalist, kind of almost brutalist style um, columns, just like very functional, very minimal. And there's a door there as well for the workmen to have a little area behind there. So I can probably put a little room in there. Um, and then, yeah, through here, obviously, this is all holding. So this is going to be the train station and car park area here. This crane's just temporary. Uh, that is going to be the Grand Emporium as before. And then this is going to be my hospital. And I'm going to tell you my idea for the hospital. So you might not see this start for quite a while. But the ground floor here is going to be... Um, like uh, an ambulance bay slash emergency center. And then the main entrance is actually gonna be on this level. So the hospital will effectively be on two levels, emergency and then the rest of the hospital. Now, one thing I haven't just shown you, I haven't shown you just yet, is the roads. I've been putting in roads, I've been working on my roads. I came up with, with this idea, I saw this somewhere, I wish I could remember where I saw it, but someone had done these kind of raised aisles in the middle, and I just think they work really, really well with the walkways and everything. Just really kind of make it more interesting. So I've kind of used that approach there, a little roundabout, so that'll come into the car park here. That'll go up just into the cargo area there, so that's not gonna be too busy. And then up here, carries on along. And then this is going to be a ramp up to this level. So uh, again, I've carried that on there, crossing straight across here. And then here, I think this is going to be the Palace Cinema. I'm 99% certain that's going to be Palace Cinema. Should be a good spot for that. Um, and then again, this will just be sort of a small area that I can either put um, some more market stalls in perhaps or um, a little bit of parkland, I don't know. Again, there'll be some steps up onto this level here. Uh, there's the diner. That's one of the sets I've been building. Um, it's taken me a while to build that one. Uh, I've been taking my time with it because I've really enjoyed the build on it. I've actually got a lighting kit for that one as well, which someone has sent me to do a review on. So I'll be doing that this week. And then up here, I've gone with a slightly different road when we get up here. So again, the slope will go up here. I've kept them quite short. Look, this is a Lego city. It doesn't need to be realistic. It's not meant to be. So again, the island carries on and then we go into just the normal sort of dotted road here round to the Ghostbusters HQ, round my grand in my um, Sanctum Sanctorum. I still love that. I've got I got that in pride of place because I still think I'm still very proud of how that looks. I, I want to improve it, possibly even add another floor to it at some point, but that's a different project entirely. Now one thing that is missing here is as I said, I'm gonna put a bridge across to the city uh, residential district there haven't decided exactly where that road's going to go yet. So, you know, it's the residential district. I haven't made any work on that yet. That's something that needs to be thought about in a bit more detail. I, I, I'm going to obviously build the road along there, decide how that's going to work. And obviously I, need, I said I was going to do something underneath the theme park here. So again, I'm not really worried about that at the moment. I really wanted to put my effort in over here, which means I've also added in another area here, which I didn't have originally. Um, you can see I've had to hurt quite a lot of base plates to actually make this work on the size I've got. I'm sorry. I do have the brick tubers in here though. We've got uh, Dr. McBrick there. 
talking to dinosaurs again. We've got Robin Hull builds. We've got JC from Small Brick City. We've got Jacob from Brick Bakery. We've got Stefan from Brixenville. We've got Brick Family there. And I did have Kaz. Kaz was up here. Where's Kaz gone? Ah, oh, no, I know where Kaz is. Kaz, I owe you a big apology. Um, in my move, I've lost your hairpiece. I need to find out what part number that is. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you saw my Lego room at the moment, you'd understand why I can't find it. I probably will find it as soon as I order it. Um, oh, I do have that one there. <laughs> the haunted, uh, haunted tower ride there. I, I, uh, the haunted house, sorry. I love that building. That's not staying there. That's a placeholder for the time being. What I'm actually considering here, I was thinking about this earlier on. Originally, I planned to put a modular in there. But I'm actually kind of thinking about using more of the sort of the creator style sets to make this area a little bit more tight, shall we say, so I can actually get a sort of bit of alleyway work going in there and things like that. So using, I've got the toy store as well. I've got the, um, the sweet shop here that I think can be modified a bit to work a bit better. I've got the Lego shop. I originally was thinking the Lego shop would go in there, but I've actually, in putting everything together, got less space. So that hasn't happened. Um, you can see as well, I've got the walkway along here. There's no roads on this side of the city. This is all um, cut off so the road goes up there and round here so everything around this side is not anything to do with roads anymore this is all just pedestrian walkways be steps up and down things like that that's how I want that area to be and then over in that area there I will put another building in that corner there not sure what yet that's going to be another modular there as well not sure which one and there's going to be one more here I think Undecided on that one again. Go decide what one would actually go in there. Possibly the brick bank. Uh, but anyway, can have a think about that one. Oh, I've got the corner garage to go in as well. Actually, maybe the corner garage would go there. I don't know. Oh no, I was thinking corner garage there. Sorry, Just thinking out loud. Corner garage would go there, I think, because. It's on a nice road there and I can actually build a bit of road there, which would work well because then it would go to sort out the space center again. Yeah, it looks like one of the rockets has crash landed in the space center. Completely ignore it. I haven't done any work on that. Um, I haven't gone to any effort to set up any stories today, guys. I'm literally just trying to build at the moment. You can see I've been putting stuff together left, right, and center, building this crane. I got this crane. I've always wanted this crane. I've had an obsession with cranes my entire life. Just ask my parents. Strange thing. So when I got this, I had to build it. Um, I've got the mystery machine there now. One of the sets I always wanted. I had a, a win on, uh, I think I got that one on Gumtree, which is owned by eBay here. That was a good win for me. So yeah, I've been building this set here because I really wanted a good helicopter. That's a great set. You can see I've got uh, Black Widow there fighting the bad guy. And then we've got the uh, his her sister there chasing Mr. Freeze of all people. So uh, yeah, it's a bit strange. Oh, and I've got the Green Goblin refueling in my petrol station again I don't want to destroy the petrol station I've got to figure out a place for it um, I, there's a few things I could do with it we'll have a think about that one it could actually thinking about it go on the end over there next to Ghostbusters HQ be small but it could work my issue there is whenever I go along that wall there I tend to knock things because it's actually quite a tight space for someone who's six foot four um, <clears throat> anyway uh, what else? I think that's it for now. Oh, I got my train there, obviously, the uh, the new crocodile train sitting there. That's all motorized and running. Um, then Statue of Liberty, I've got the big version as well, but the big version is way too big for the city, so I'm just going to have it small version on a special custom plinth, I think. Uh, I think that was it. Oh, good grief. Suddenly that was 13 minutes of me rambling about what I've been doing. You can tell I've been enjoying myself. Oh, I added another carriage to this as well. My 60197 is now four carriages long because the uh, Horizon Express is so big, I thought I just had to put in the extra carriage, so I did. Um, I've got some ideas. I'm going to do some upgrades on this train as well. I've been thinking about how I can improve it because sitting next to the uh, Horizon Express, it just doesn't look as good now. So I'm going to do some work to improve that one. Probably have a double-decker carriage. Robin, uh, Robin Hood Bricks did a really good video on a double-decker carriage for this one. Um, he did it one particular way, uh, which I liked, uh, which was different from his um, other train he's got. There's a few ways of doing it. So, yeah, I'm thinking uh, how I can do that one at the moment. I did do a version originally, but I scrapped it because I wasn't very happy with it. 
Um, I do want to do some more mock work as well, so I've got to figure out how to get all that in as well. So I'll probably have another mock over there. I've got the um, I've got the friend set to use. Uh, I've always wanted to build an apartment block with that, and I've got the extra pieces from that set because I got two of those. I've got the two New York sides for that, which I thought would make a great um, would give me some great parts for actually building out an apartment block using that building. There it is, like just shoved on my shelf. This this gives you an idea of what's going on in my Lego city at the moment. There's there's stuff everywhere. This is my desk, complete with a beer computer in here now and these piles of bricks that's how busy I've been building so yeah been busy oh you can see all these trees ready to be demolished <laughs> bless them so yeah I'm uh, I think I'm going to start in the Grand Emporium next because I've, I've just I love that building I want to put it in so yeah I've got some shelves going up as well I'm going to stop talking now rabbled for long enough but I think I've made good progress you can see some stuff starting to come together now I've got bucket loads of grey bricks to do these walls with obviously I need to intersperse them a bit with some greenery and stuff like that uh, I've got traffic lights to put in here as well that's what that stud there is for there's one on each side there for putting in some train lights little things like that all over the place I've got bricks I can probably actually wall off this entire section around here now I've got enough bricks to do it and around here as well which I think will look cool one thing I do have to figure out is how to do the ramps down here I haven't got to that yet uh, again probably going to involve hurting some baseboards I'm sorry Lego um, but it needs to be done uh, and my hospital there I'm excited when I had the idea for the hospital I thought it was really really I think it's gonna look really fabulous when I do it it's gonna be big bit different I think it's going to work really well. Having that emergency area on the ground floor and then the actual main entrance on the first floor give me a good opportunity to do some interesting architecture with that one as well. Anyway, right. Huh. Let me know in the comments what you think of what I've just shown you. A lot going on. Lots has been happening. Um, and yeah, comments, suggestions, things like that. If you agree with my plans, uh, again, I haven't touched any of this area here. I'm not even thinking about that at the moment. My main focus is around here because I'm liking how this is looking and then I'll move on to probably do a bit of work in this cargo area just to bring that to life and then start to do some of the harbour as well. If you're new here make sure you hit subscribe, I do post regularly and I've got a couple more videos I think you will be interested in at the end of this. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again very soon.